What's going on guys? Today we have a video for the Yamaha involving these three tools. Inner nose pliers, Phillips head screwdriver, and actually specifically the 5mm Allen key. And it is in this package right here. So, let me open this up. Uh, I got one hand, give me one second. Inside, boom. So right here we have the R6 throttle tube that's gonna replace our MCO3 factory one. And what this is going to do is basically shorten the uh, the turn on the, the throttle and just make it more snappier and responsive. And, and supposedly it's like the best mod you can do for like under $30. So I went ahead, I ordered it straight from Yamaha, got here next day. Let's see how it turns out. First thing we're gonna do is remove this screw right here. It's normally a five mil Allen key. Blurry, but uh, I replaced mine with a Phillips head screwdriver, uh, or sorry, Phillips head screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that real quick. And underside right here, you're gonna have the screw right here, screw right here, and there's gonna be another screw when we open this up. All right, so with this open, I don't know if you guys can see, but let me point to it right there is gonna be the last screw. After you take those three screws off, this should just pop right out like that. Set it aside, just be careful you don't unplug your uh, starter or ignition uh, wires. Uh, and then what we have right here is we're gonna have a throttle cable right here. And it's gonna be hard to see, but another one right there where I'm pointing to. Um, and what we gotta do is we gotta take those out. That's what the needle nose pliers are for. And this is gonna be the new throttle tube. So the difference is actually going to be within the distance of the throttle cables on these two slots, which I'll try to compare once I take this one off. All right guys, so the easiest way to take this off is actually to spin the throttle a little bit. You're gonna grab this little piece. You're gonna spin it outside the throttle tube, you're gonna lift it up and pull back. You're gonna do the same thing for the opposite side, but instead of pulling backwards, you're gonna push forward a little bit. It's gonna be hard to stick your pliers in there, but it's doable. now this is the old throttle cable or throttle tube this is the new one you can't really see the difference but this middle section right here is going to be smaller than that one and normally you're supposed to lube up the uh the handle right here but mine's brand new basically so it should still have some and most other people say if it's a new bike you shouldn't have to so i'm gonna just throw that on just like that we're gonna redo our throttle cables. Our throttle, yeah, throttle cables. Just make sure you get this back like that. I'm gonna put the top throttle cable first. Sure it goes into the joint nice and neat. Boom, just like that. So you wanna make sure that the wire sits in between the groove on both sides and the little pin is locked in. Then you want to clamp this back together. You're going to make sure your cables down here are sitting properly. And then you can throw all your screws back in and put your cover back on. Pause it. 
keep it stuck. Right, now that all those are back together, last thing you're gonna do is put this back right there. You have a little notch right there that that sits in, so make sure you line that up properly. And then screw it in. And then I'll show you guys the outcome. All right, so we're gonna start the bike here. You wanna make sure it's in neutral. so much shorter now it's like just the tiniest twist is already like half your rpm gauge so that's crazy i'm gonna go drive it around a little bit and see how it feels i'm gonna throw you guys on the gopro real quick all righty so here is my first reaction to the throttle i'm not even twisting it <laughs> not even twisting it Oh wow, okay. This feels amazing. I'm just barely touching it. see how this puppy does that's way more comfortable that's gonna help a lot on the uh, the highway but now my downshifting is a little like weird I gotta figure it out but that's full throttle Okay. All right, guys. Well, super easy mod, cheap too. I think I got it for $30. I'll go ahead. Oh my god, it wants the wheelie. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw the link for this in the description below in case you guys are looking to do it. Super cheap. Definitely probably one of the, the best mods I've ever done to any kind of vehicle for this cheap. So I'd highly recommend it. 10 out of 10. Wow. It made the bike just so much more. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. All right, guys. Don't forget to go ahead. Leave a like. Comment down below what you want to see next. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well. Thank you guys all for 1,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Have a wonderful day.